sunlight is imperative for lifestyles on Earth, as it presents strength for photosynthesis in vegetation and helps to alter a number of physiological tactics in animals and humans. Sunlight is a structure of electromagnetic radiation that is emitted by means of the sun. It is a kind of electricity that travels via area in the shape of waves or particles. Sunlight consists of a vary of unique wavelengths, which collectively make up the seen mild spectrum. These wavelengths vary from about 400 nanometers, nm, for violet mild to 700 nnm for pink light. In addition to seen light, daylight additionally carries different kinds of electromagnetic radiation, such as ultraviolet, UV radiation, and infrared IR radiation. Sunlight can be viewed underwater in any physique of water that is uncovered to sunlight, such as oceans, lakes, and rivers. It is in a position to penetrate water due to the fact it is a structure of electromagnetic radiation that travels in waves. This is in all likelihood something that has been located by way of human beings for hundreds of years. However, the scientific learn about of how mild interacts with water and the underwater surroundings has been ongoing for centuries. Some of the earliest recorded observations on this theme have been made by way of historic Greek philosophers, along with Aristotle, who stated that water seems blue when considered from a distance. Later in the 19th century, Scientists such as John Tyndall and Lord Rayleigh performed experiments on the scattering of mild by using water and different substances, laying the basis for our current appreciation of this phenomenon. John Tyndall used to be an Irish physicist who made sizable contributions to the find out about of mild and its interactions with a number of materials. He is possibly fantastic recognized for his work on the absorption and scattering of light consisting of his discovery that gases such as water vapor and carbon dioxide can soak up infrared radiation, main to the greenhouse effect. Tyndall additionally studied the residences of mild as it passes through a number of substances, along with water and his experiments helped to set up the scientific groundwork for the remark that the ocean seems blue. Lord Rayleigh, whose full identify used to be John William Strutt, was once a British physicist and mathematician who made many vital contributions to science, mainly in the areas of optics and electromagnetism. Rayleigh used to be the first to provide an explanation for why the sky seems blue, a phenomenon now acknowledged as Rayleigh scattering. He additionally studied the conduct of mild as it passes via a range of materials, inclusive of water, and his work helped to set up the scientific foundation for our grasp of how daylight penetrates into the ocean. Rayleigh used to be awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1904 for his contributions to the learn about of the density of gases and the discovery of argon. The capability of daylight to penetrate water is due to the absorption and scattering of mild by means of water molecules. The mild spectrum is absorbed by way of water and special colorations are absorbed at unique depths. Blue and inexperienced wavelengths of mild are scattered much less by way of water molecules, permitting them to penetrate deeper into the water column, which is why the ocean regularly seems blue or green. As a result, objects that are illuminated via sunlight, such as fish or coral, can be considered up to 80 meters underwater. Sunlight can be considered underwater for the duration of the daylight hours when the solar is shining. The quantity of daylight that penetrates the water relies upon on the time of day, the attitude of the sun, and the readability of the water.